What's up, KB Fit family? We're back today showing you guys a new workout. Today's workout is going to be for beginners and intermediates as well. Um, we're going to show a couple modifications to some of the exercises. And the best part about this workout is that you can do it anywhere, at home, at the gym, whatever you guys want. So let's just jump right into it. This first exercise is just a squat with an overhead press. So the main focus here you guys want to focus on is keeping your feet about hip width apart and sitting back just like you're sitting into a chair. As you come up, you're gonna press your hands over your head and exhale. And you're just gonna keep a nice rhythm here. This is gonna bring the heart rate up and help you guys burn a lot of calories. All right, next up, you guys are gonna see me here doing it with a little bit lighter weight. This is the modification. Feel free to leave the weights out. If you guys find this too challenging, that's totally okay. Just perform the motion um, without the weights. You can use, you know, cans at your house, whatever you guys have laying around, and it's gonna get the same effect. So feel free to leave those guys out. All right, the uh, Renegade Rose. This is the intermediate version of this exercise. Uh, basically, you wanna brace your core, keep it nice and tight, and after you complete the push-up, you just pull that weight to your chest. You'll see me actually balancing to each arm. That's just, you know, for balance purposes. This is the uh, beginner version. Uh, you'll be on your knees for this portion, still performing the push-up embracing your core however as you can see cat's not holding any weights but she's still doing the row this is important to still activate those back muscles All right guys, next up we have the lunge with the lateral raise. So this one's great because it's gonna incorporate multiple muscle groups as I mentioned in the first exercise. That is the key with this whole workout is using more than one muscle group to help you guys burn some more calories. So all you'll see him doing here is doing a standard lunge. The most important part of this is to take a big step, make sure that knee doesn't go past that toe area, and keep your back nice and straight up. As he steps forward, he's gonna simultaneously raise those weights up to about shoulder level. The modification here is gonna be using lighter weights and you guys can skip the raise. So feel free to just leave those hands at your sides. You're gonna get similar benefits um, by holding the weights, you're still using those similar muscles. However, it's not as challenging as the first version of the exercise. All right, the famous wall sit. So for the intermediate version of this exercise, basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna get to that parallel position. And in this case, you're holding weights just at your hips there. You'll see me holding them. And uh, you'll really feel the burn on this one in your quad, so heads up. All right, and for the beginner's version, basically she's doing the same exact movement. She's still pushing herself into the wall with her heels at the parallel position, bracing her core, just as in the first one. However, she's not holding weights at her hips and she's doing it for just a little bit less time. All right, here you guys are gonna see the tricep dip exercise. Um, this one here that he's doing is gonna be the more advanced version. 
You guys will see that his legs are straight out in front of him. That puts a little bit more weight and pressure on the arms and it makes the triceps have to work a little bit harder. This one's gonna be great for the back of the arm flab that a lot of ladies complain about. So you guys are gonna be able to see the modification as well. All right, here it is. So you guys are gonna bend your knees, make sure your legs are kind of in an L formation, and you're just gonna be doing the same exact exercise. So pushing through those palms, coming straight up and down, exhaling as you come to the top, and you're gonna perform about three sets of 15 reps. All right, guys. So for burpees, my one of my favorite exercises, basically what you're doing is you're jumping up to the top there, as you can see, you do the push up at the bottom, and basically as you extend and come in, your knees come to your chest, and just as they come to your chest, you launch up as high as you can and you reach for the sky. Alright, burpees with the modification for beginners. Basically, it's the same sort of exercise, but what instead, you're still bracing your core, you're still coming down to the bottom, except it's one leg at a time. This is a more low impact version of this exercise. What's great about both of these is they still get the heart rate up, they still burn calories, they still activate all multiple different kinds of muscles, and you still feel the burn. All right guys, almost done. Hope you guys are still alive. This one here is gonna be the single leg bridge, so he's doing one leg at a time. You guys are gonna see he's pushing through his heels, so that's gonna put a lot of tension on your butt area. If you push through your toes, you're gonna feel it burn more in your quads, and we're trying to kind of avoid that here. So make sure you're pushing through your heels. You wanna make sure that your core is really tight as well. Just imagine somebody socked you in the stomach, and it feels really tight, and you wanna contract that glute as he's saying right there. All right, so for the modification, you guys are just gonna perform the same type of movement, push through your heels, and you're gonna use both legs. Make sure to contract your glutes really hard at the top, just like you did before, and this is a little bit easier than the last one.